Morning, Marianne. Well, good morning to you, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Monday. It's the beginning of the week for those of you who are not retired and have a job. Uh, but for those of us who are retired, it is just another day, and it is a day that I have to continue doing some of the work for the planting in the garden here, uh, or specifically those pots on the back of the patio. So let's go ahead and get today's episode started, and then we'll go into what I am going to be working working on today. Now without further delay, let's get today's video underway. So anyway, you can see yesterday I got most of the palms and the shrubs down into the ground. They're all down. There's just a few that I have to work on because there was some concrete inside the ground, specifically right around here by the water meter. Uh, the two that are sitting here that have yet to come out of their bags. Now directly below them is a bunch of concrete and I'm not sure if there's any pipes or anything inside, so I have to be really careful if I break any of that apart. If not, what uh, we might have to go with a specific spot of the yard, either with a pot there and a plant inside, or no plant at all, but it would look kind of unsymmetrical. You remember I always use the term symmetrical if, if we re do not have the exact spacing of all the plants. Uh, also here in the front, you'll see this is done as well. So we are moving forward with getting the decorations of the landscaping done around Villa Fleece here. Now I have a, a, a question about what to do with this spot right here. Now I'm not really sure what I want to do uh, with the shrubs right here that are in front of these fence posts. Uh, the, the fence posts everywhere else around the yard, uh, I have the shrub planted in the ground directly in front of the posts, such as this. And this. And they're the same. The spacing is the same everywhere around the yard. Now here I have a different situation. Here you notice I have the grass blocks. The grass blocks are here in place. Now the grass blocks have an opening big enough I could put the shrub inside. It would mean removing the grass block, putting a little bit of good soil underneath it because remember there's gravel and sand underneath it. And, and then pushing the, the root the root base through the hole inside there where there's normally grass. I could do that there or I could put pots there. We could put a pot here and a pot over here. I'm not sure right now what I'm going to do so I'm going to put that on hold for the moment and uh, make a decision later on. Now the project for today is the main project for today is on the back patio. I want to get those pots that we picked up the other day in Columba Laguna and what I want to do is I want to put uh, those citrus, the citrus and the fruit trees. I think we have a pomegranate, a lime, and what was the other one? Oh, maybe a calamansi. I don't remember. There's three, there's three fruit trees that are in the back uh, that need to go inside those pots. So let's go ahead and get that done now, and then we'll uh, continue on to whatever other project needs to be done around the house here today at Villa Feliz.
okay, it is about lunchtime. All of the pots are planted, uh, even up on the, the, the lanai, up on the second floor. I don't know if you can see up there, but look at the sun. It's right over there in the corner. Right over there in the corner. And that is done as well. Uh, also, we'll walk to the front yard here in just a second, and we'll take a look at what I completed up in the front garden. And basically, it's that, remember the, uh, the concrete pot that sits at ground level? And we have that real special plant for that center focal point. That is done as well. So that being done now, uh, I'm gonna take a break. There's still some other things I have to do. Remember by the retaining wall, we have to put those really small plants inside there. Uh, but I'm gonna probably leave that for this afternoon right now. We have another task. Ness and I, uh, this morning, was it this morning or yesterday? Yesterday, no, yesterday. Yesterday we received a ballot buying box and it's her ballot buying box. So you get to see that, there, you know, my ballot buying has a bunch of techie stuff in it. it has. Uh, sprinkler systems and tools and all that kind of stuff uh, but Ness I don't know what Ness said so if you want <laughs> to you can share the opening up a, a, a Ness's ballot blind box and let's see what she has inside but before we go inside I just want to show you that one plant that I put in the pot out here in my little garden area Well, I think that plant will do fine in that pond over in that garden spot. Uh, well, let's go ahead and go downstairs and uh, see what Ness has inside her ballot buying box. Is there a way to, to cut this without making yeah. me feel? Oh, you have a towel. <laughs> you have a towel. Oh, it looks like stuff from the grocery store in here. It, they are. They are from the grocery stores. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of groceries, I see. Oh, stuff for the puppies. Puppies. Oh. Uh -oh. Do you know what you got? You got some. You got some milk bones. Oh, she knows. Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce. Wakame. Oh, you, this, these are your oh, seeds. Oh, seeds for the yeah. garden. All right, these cool. Seasoning, seeds. seasoning. Seeds, 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 seeds. seeds. Was that seeds also over there? Yeah. Oh, uh, your coffee. Oh, coffee. Coffee. Oh, coffee, oh, and tea. tea. And, and, and your some coffee desserts. Again. And yeah. ranch dressing. Seasoning. I told you it's like a grocery store ballot buying <laughs> shipment. <laughs> Anything that you cannot find here. Alright, these are skillets for making them. Hey, you have your mochi here. Ah, uh, mochi. Yeah. It's more yes. of your coffee. More coffee. More coffee. Oh, yeah. And we have the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Oh, a oh, buffalo, buffalo buffalo wing. Buffalo oh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, for making yeah I, I find it, I can't find like original buffalo wing uh, sauce, you know, the, the hot sauce that you put on the chicken. So I told her, I said, make sure you send some of that over. Uh, more, more of the, oh, these are your tongs. Oh, the tongs for the, for the yeah, barbecue grill? Yeah, okay. barbecue grill. And our picture. And a picture Rachel. from, oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, the picture from the, from, from the, the uh, cruise. Oh yeah, from the cruise. And we need to hang. We have to get that framed and we'll hang that. And what is this? Your uh, instrument? Guitar, gu guitar holder? Yeah, for the, uh, for the wall. Yep. Yeah. And I have here... Uh, oh, the placemats. Place the placemats for the table. I, I, I uh, want the thicker one, like, yeah. like this. No, those points. are great. Oh yeah, those are great. Those work yeah. fine. More seasonings. I'm going to make... Oh, strawberry cheesecake. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. What was it? A dessert. Uh, mm. Muffins. Muffins. It's hard to get Oh, muffins. for slow, slow cooker. Oh, muffins. slow cooker. Oh, and that's something, that's something else here. It's trying to get stuff for a slow cooker. Anything that has to do with soups or slow cooking, it's um, unless you do it from scratch where you get your own beef and you get some of the fresh vegetables. Uh, but they have a lot of great seasonings prepackaged in the U.S. Make it chocolate cake. You like the moist uh, one. Uh, you like the moist cake. one. Yep. Yep. So. 
Oh, that's for the dogs. Yeah. Ah, that's the, that's the pet fencing system to keep this girl where she doesn't make it out. <laughs> through, the, through the fence, the, the iron works Dog out there. Okay. okay, great. All right, wonderful. Yeah. Well, we'll do an episode specifically on that uh, pretty soon, I think. More of, of uh, different uh, kinds of pastas. different kinds of pasta because oh, yeah. I can't find you can't find like angel, angel, angel hair, hair. Oh, penne, yeah. ziti. I can't find them here, or maybe it's really hard to find fettuccine. Okay, great. Okay. And we have and we have some coasters. coasters. Oh yeah, some coasters, coasters uh, yeah, for the table. Mediterranean. Okay, cool. Mediterranean design. And this one would be your soups. Oh, my Campbell soups. soups. Oh. There's more in the other end. Oh yeah. So pull out one. Pull out one can. Oh yes, my Campbell soups. You cannot get these over here. Cannot find them anywhere over here. Awesome. There's more. There's more. This one. More, more. And, and this one, this one, this one that you, uh, your favorite. Mmm. Yeah? My fit camp. Oh, I love camp. Oh, I love these. Oh, yeah, great. And more of your coffee. And more coffee. Se Seattle's okay. best. All right. And more of the seasonings. Seasonings. There's a lot of lots seasonings there. Lots and lots of seasonings. Everything. All right. Cool. Like All right, cool. Seasonings that you cannot find here. My big cookbook. Oh, cookbook. Taste of home cookbook. All right. Yeah. Well, that's about it for unboxing the Bellic Bion box down here in the basement. Uh, I'll help Ness get all of the cooking supplies and the spices and all the, the soups and things like that. I'll help her get that upstairs to the first floor, to the kitchen area. And uh, I don't know what the next thing is that we're going to work on today. I do know we're going to a Korean restaurant this evening. Uh, so we'll, we'll probably do a review of one of the local Korean restaurants here in Lipa. And as you know, Lipa has a lot of ethnic restaurants around. They have Korean, they have Chinese, they have, oh my goodness, uh, American. <laughs> they have a little bit of everything here in town. Uh, so we'll go on a, uh, a, a dinner uh, to, I think, one of the local Korean restaurants tonight, and we'll take you along with us. One. Okay, well, all the chores are done for the day, and it is time to relax for the evening. Uh, Ness says she's taking me out on a date tonight. Yes. <laughs> and the reason she says she's taking I'm me out... I'm paying for everything. That's why she says she's taking me out on a date, because she's paying for everything. <laughs> uh, so, let's go. Uh, we're going to go in search of a Korean restaurant that we haven't been to in the past, and uh, we'll take you along with us for the ride. Okay, here at Daejang Gum, is that Daejang Day Gum, right? Daejang Gum, uh, the restaurant. It is located somewhere <laughs> close to Wilcon on President Laurel Highway in Lipa. Uh, it's, it's you pass the Jolly Bee like you're going towards Wilcon, and it is on uh, as you're going in that direction it's towards Wilcon. Okay, yeah, that's because she sees it right there across the street. She's she's cheating. Uh, so this is uh, the Korean restaurant that we're going to test out today. We're going to see what the food is like here. And, uh, they have shabu shabu. Th they have what? Shabu shabu. Shabu shabu. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Let's go. All right. So we're going to, uh, I don't know where we're going to, maybe shabu shabu. I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and go in and uh, check out the food. Okay, so we, we already took a look at the menu. Let me show you what we're going to uh, get today. So for today, Ness said she wanted the, the shabu shabu. So we're going with the shabu shabu meal. And we're actually getting a lot more than we're probably going to be able to eat. And I think we're also going to get the traditional bulgogi. Uh, it was between bulgogi, bibimbap, or the duanjang stew with rice. And this has beef inside it right here. But since this is already here, this makes into like a, a, a stew soup kind of area. We're going to skip this. And we ended up with the bulgogi right here. Since this is not dulcet bibimbap, and dulcet bibimbap, it's a it's a hot, it's a very hot in a stone bowl. And that's what I really like more. This is more for summertime. Since it's wintertime, we'll go with the bulgogi. And what else are you getting? Uh, you're getting the chapche. Did you say the chapche to, to take out? Now, she, she's getting the chapche right here. Even though we're not gonna eat it, she's gonna bring that back to the house.
Okay, well, that's about it for tonight's episode. We're leaving the restaurant and we're heading back to Villa Feliz. And hopefully I can get this edited and out to you in a timely manner. Uh, so what do you think of the food? It's good. Pretty good, pretty good. Give them thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> so and anyway, have a tico. And their specialty is shabu shabu here. And the shabu shabu was pretty good. We did the pork. I thought we were going to do the beef, but beef, but we did the pork. Uh, maybe next time we'll try the beef. And they also have the vegetable one or something? No, fish. The seafood. Fish. Uh, seafood. The seafood. They have the seafood one as well. Uh, so anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of doing stuff around the yard, getting those pots filled with those plants. Uh, we're still uh, going to continue. There's still more things that have to be done around the yard. And I think tomorrow might be a trip to Wilcon uh, to get some more paint. I don't have enough paint. I have no paint left over to fix those areas on the retaining walls around the house. <laughs> so uh, we, we have a combined trip because we have a guest coming in in a few days from, yes, Japan, from Japan that's going to be staying with us Our for a friends. week. And uh, we have to do some grocery shopping for that. So we'll probably do grocery shopping. At the same time, we'll probably stop by Wilcon and get some paint to do some fix-ups. So anyway, that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen. And you will be subscribed, and you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day.